Hey guys, it's Jesse here, and today begins the first week of my boyfriend being gone for boot camp. So in the morning I was a little emotional, you know, felt like I needed to cry or I wanted to cry, but I was actually able to control it. I actually went almost the entire day staying busy. I just feel the need to. Like there's something in me that starts getting really anxious when I'm relaxing or doing something where I could start like thinking about him. I've been really anxiously working. I'm not hungry. I've barely been eating. Like there's no appetite. Overall today was okay. It was a little bit tough at the beginning. So uh, it's 4 a.m. and I'm sitting at a desk and I have not slept. I think ignoring the fact that he's gone is making my body go insane and doesn't really know how to work with the stress levels. Hopefully I can get some actual sleep and not wake up two hours later. You see that? It's the sun. You see that? I just spent all night doing it. I don't know why. I'm not really like sad. I'm just like, I cannot stop doing something. And this is like day two. And I don't know how I'm gonna survive without eating or sleeping, but we'll see. Yeah, so today was rough. My confidence in getting through this strongly just kind of. I started thinking about him and like the little things, you know, like his laugh in his eyes. When you remember little things like that, they tug at the most delicate parts of your heart. I actually had a whole panic attack. Yeah, so basically just a really, really anxious day. I cried one time, wanted to cry two other times, but I'm such a stubborn human being that I like talked myself out of it. But the third time my chest was hurting and I could feel that it was starting to become a panic attack and I was like, I'm not even gonna try to fight this one. But I didn't sleep at all last night, like zero hours, zero seconds, all of that. That's just proving to me that my body is just running on anxiety. So I spent the weekend at my brother's house and I was not able to film for a few days. Every day that I've been vlogging, even when I've been filming the same day, I take notes on my phone over what I felt and things like that. So I'm just gonna catch you up real quick on the notes that I have for the days that I missed. Okay, so day three, I was out with my brother all day, yet I still continuously kept thinking about him. We were at a restaurant, we were doing things, we were watching shows, and I just couldn't stay concentrated on whatever was happening. We went to this other place and it was full of other couples. This is the first time I'd been around other couples since Adam left. And I'm not even gonna lie, like it was really, really hard. It also made me think of all the times that I've taken a simple hug or a kiss for granted. So for day four, I had another panic attack. I didn't really write what it was about. And this is the first day that I did not cry. So day five was a really sad morning. I didn't have issues getting up, but I did wake up and was just immediately hit with just huge depression. And the reason why I was sad is I had dreamt about him. I don't remember the dream. All I know is that he was in the dream. You know when you're sad and you feel like this pressure on your chest? Well, that's what I was feeling the entire day. It seemed like every song on the radio was a love song. Every one of them meant something for him. You start piecing parts of songs with your relationship that you had never done before. And I've been talking to a friend that I met on the comments of my first Navy Girlfriend video. And towards the night we started talking and discussing about how we started feeling like they didn't exist anymore. Am I? Am I about to cry? I do remember telling her that, you know, I felt like I have to keep bringing him up in conversation so people don't forget about him. It's kind of like he only exists in the past. All the feelings that boot camp and being separated from him brings makes you really dramatic. So day six, which is today, is the first day where I've actually started to feel better. So I'm still constantly thinking about him, but it's kind of started turning around into a positive because tomorrow makes one week. So I'm, I'm just thinking, like, I finally got one week done. <sighs> it's finally been a week. I've made it calm. 
not too collected, but you get what you get. Still no address, still no communication. I've been just curious about like what he's doing, what he's learning, things like that. I also realized that missing him is just part of my day now. Wake up, eat some food, miss Adam. I also noticed that I'm seeing our relationship in a more mature way. So I'm actually thankful for boot camp because it's helping our relationship mature faster. I'm really excited about getting these few weeks done and being able to see him. I think that's what's been changing my mood mostly, just me trying to think ahead and think I'm gonna see him. It's day number eight, first day of the second week. I was literally about to go to bed and forgot that I was doing this whole deal. So today was an okay day. I've been ignoring my feelings still, so it's all good. <laughs> Today's the first day that I actually cared about myself. Like, I, I did my eyebrows, and my, my acne started getting better. Like, I think I'm about to start not dying, so I'm excited for that. So I think it's day nine. I've been kind of down today. You know, I think that trying to hide the fact that I miss him and trying to ignore, you know, that he's not here has finally started to catch up on me. I'm really worried right now. This is the longest I've ever gone without hearing from him. It's getting hard not knowing even his address. Like right now I feel this really bad pressure on my chest. My appetite's been going down again. I'm just ready for this to be all over. I'm really worried that he's forgetting me. Like, I know deep, deep, deep down that he misses me too, but I can't help but feeling like, you know, maybe he's rethinking our relationship now that he's got so much time apart. I can pull up pictures and videos and I can look at our messages, but he can't. There's nothing, there's nothing keeping him with me. I just want to know that he's okay. I want to know that He's not hating every second of his time there. I want to know that he's enjoying it at least a little bit. I just want to know where he is, I think. I haven't filmed for a little bit. I've been working. I've been upset. No crying, though, so I guess that's all that really counts. I still have no address, and we're like three days away from being two weeks. So I'm going to call his recruiter, and I'm going to figure out where the boy is. Well, yeah, that's it. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next time I post a video. Bye!